today I'm recording about my uh, third week and the beginning of the fourth week on the Cambridge diet. So sorry it was really, really late and I'm really sorry I didn't record one about last week. Um, I will keep you up to date with that on this video. I'm really sorry some stuff happened but I'll explain it in the video. So if you want to keep watching, keep watching. I'm really sorry guys I didn't record week two and week three. Um, but I'm going to keep you up to date. So yesterday I've started week four. So on week number two, um, as you could see on my last video, I lost nine pound in my first week and I was absolutely over the moon about it because I've never lost that weight ever in my life. Um, on the second week, same sort of thing happened. I got a little bit tired, a little bit weak. Some stuff happened and I was really busy and I just, I didn't feel like recording anything and I'm really sorry guys because everybody on Facebook and everything has been so they've been so supportive so I really apologize I didn't update anything um I am starting new videos actually had to spruce up the milkshakes because I see all the stuff online and I experiment with them and I think whatever's cool I make a video of it and see how people think of it it does spruce up your uh, milkshake especially in the morning or whatever it does actually spruce things up so yeah I've not eaten nothing so I've just been on my shakes and my soups every day like I am on the soul stage so I'm actually really over the moon and thank you guys for being so supportive and thank you so much on the guys on the support group on Facebook you've been amazing and you've been so kind to me um, and it's amazing to see other people experience the exact same thing I'm going through too. It's really inspiring when other people put up themselves of losing six stone. So that's what's really kept me going, really. And thank you so much, guys, for uh, all the guys online and offline. It's It has been remarkable. So thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. Um it, it's just kept me going so I really really appreciate that so on week two uh, I did struggle but it's okay I kept standing strong I kept saying no you know everything um, and on a Saturday night I went to a gathering and I just wanted to cry because there was another asshole that come in um, for like no apparent reason but got to my friend's gathering and all there was was pizza burgers takeaway um booze everything that you're not supposed to have on the cambridge diet and all i had i promise you guys all i had was sparkling water normal water from the fridge um and my soup and my shake that's all i had guys and i felt really amazing but this uh random flipping witch not even a witch actually an asshole yeah, so I'm going to call her asshole because there is no word to describe it because, yeah, she thinks it is a cool thing to do to not even be on the Cambridge diet and go on the support groups just to see probably how much weight people are losing and be rude to them, okay? And think about it, right? I researched this woman a little bit and she is about 50 years of age. So for that, yeah... So what she did was I did a few selfies of myself being sober and being surrounded by this food. But I said, that's OK. I'm going to sleep in a minute and it does not matter to me anymore. And all of a sudden I got this random comment off this weirdo. Uh, Your makeup looks hideous. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? It's Cambridge support group, not um, assholes. Please jump in and interfere and piss people off, support group. No, that's that's a thing. Uh, that's a thing called hell. So, or up someone else's ass. So, if you want to be rude to people online, crawl up your own ass and jump off a short pier or take a long walk off a short pier, whatever that expression is. Even thinking of this woman was so so fucking rude. It makes me angry. It makes me very cross. And it made me feel very shitty about myself. Because actually, I did quite cool makeup. Because I saw Nicki Minaj in pills and potions. And I thought, wow, her eye makeup is really cool. Uh, I did it. And um, quite minimalised. 
Uh, so it's not so overdramatic because I had my glasses on. And, yeah, it really annoyed me. And she's saying that my makeup was hideous. So I'm thinking, so this 50-year-old woman is talking to a 20-odd-year-old woman like this. What kind of person is she? What kind of human being is she? So, you know, I made more research on her. She wasn't even on the Cambridge diet. But, again, guys, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, everybody slaughtered her so much, including me. I didn't slaughter her, I just said the truth. Why? 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 Why would you do this? Because why? This is the thing. I've been I've i I've asked myself about people like this for the last week and asked myself why. There is only one word to actually ask people up there, why do people do that? So there is no explanation why people want to be assholes and be twats online and be a penis and be really nasty to people, okay? You don't go on someone else's support group that are actually really trying hard to stay on this Cambridge diet and it is really fucking hard, okay? It gets easier, but it's still hard. It's still unexpressible about how hard it is to stay on it and to stay strong i've stayed strong for four weeks nearly and yes this comment actually really got hurtful so really and when you're surrounded by food and stuff like that it really gets on your ass because why why just <laughs> i can't even express it but why would you go on someone's support group where these people are really going through some stuff they're really going through a lot and make them feel shitty about themselves because i like to express my i like to express my personality through makeup and through what i wear i don't get it i don't get it and this woman she needs to go fucking spec savers i know me i need to go but fucking look at her she's a weirdo she was a weirdo she was like not even on the cambridge diet but was on the support group Come on, dude. It's like, seriously. I can't, I can't understand why people just wake up in the morning and go, Oh, do you know what I want to do? I want to be an absolute penis and go online and hurt other people's feelings that are really going through some stuff right now because, you know, I just want to because I'm thin and they're not or whatever and I want them to feel bad about themselves. Why? <laughs> okay why i laugh it now but i was going to put some pictures up of the conversation because again thank you so much guys for standing up for me i really appreciate it um thank you because i was losing it um it wasn't very fair what was written about me in the first place and i was having trouble with people that i've pushed out my life but they somehow keep fucking crawling back in for no apparent reason and make me feel more shitty about myself at times but you know i'm dealing with it and more shit happens online from a random 50 odd year old stranger so you know that's how life goes because apparently i attract assholes uh for no apparent reason it's not like i have like hurt anybody or insulted anybody by the slightest and then I get really bad karma for no fucking reason so you know you know it happens but again guys thank you so much for sticking up for me I really really do appreciate it so that was my second week and that was really upsetting but I went to sleep at 11 o'clock that night and I went oh holy crap I get weighed in like a day and a half so I thought actually do you know what it's totally not worth it I'd rather sleep and stand and shake some soups and lose weight so on the second way in I thought to myself if I lost two pound in this week I would be very very happy I would be really over the moon and um I said to everybody at stables I said to a lady called Lynn at the stables and I said if I lost two pound I'd be I'll be really grateful I'll be so so grateful I will be over the moon uh, I got weighed and I lost four. I actually lost four. So that's two bags of sugars, not one, two. So I was like, yes. I was like, oh my God, my weight's actually coming off. 
So all in total there, that was £13. So that is less than just under seven bags of sugar. So that is a fucking lot of weight. If you try and pick that up in a Sainsbury's bag, you will probably be like, Nyeh! because it actually is a lot of weight than you actually think. Um, and everyone as well has been really supportive as well. So people at Brands Farm, people, family, everything, thank you so much. It's been really amazing to have so much support so thank you and on my third week which is i got which ended yesterday so today is just uh yeah today's the start of my week four um during week three i had another bit of a wobble more people pissed me off so and then i eventually realized i went right okay <laughs> I'm always going to attract them people that just want to be total losers and total penises or whatever you want to call them. Um, personal and strangers, actually. Um, so I've just learned to keep going, to be honest. Um, yeah. Just fuck them. I, I, I've, I am going to get really angry, but then... After a while, I'll, I'll I'll just get over it and have my soup and get over it. So, you know, whatever you're trying to do, if you try and text me, if you try and Facebook me, including especially strangers, if you want to do whatever you want on Facebook and Twitter, don't try and annoy me because you're just going to be laughed at at the end of the day now because I actually really completely, totally give up with you people because most of you are strangers, okay? So... You know, it, it is annoying. It's so annoying. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really happy. Uh, I lost another £4 yesterday. So I was really over the moon because I kept saying, oh, one loses two. And I lost four again. So apparently that might be what I might be losing every week. So um, I've lost in total £17. I'm like, Yes! I'm like, yes, I'm like over the moon. I'm so happy. And yeah, my hair looks so mashed right now. It's because I had my extensions in because my hair's got a little bit thin. And yeah, so I had them curled and I stuck it in a plait. And now my hair's just totally, completely mashed. But oh well, moving on to the point. But um, I am actually really, really happy. Uh, I've lost a stone and a quarter within three weeks. That is out of reality. It's not even real. I keep saying to my to myself when I'm sitting on that scale and I turn around, I'm like, what? Are you serious, mate? I'm like, this ain't even real. This, this is actually a joke. Someone's actually pulling a fast one on me or something. But no, I, I really do believe in this. This does really work. And if you're thinking about going on it again, I'm going to say again the second time, go on it because it does bloody work. So if you lose your motivation, gain more weight. It's so worth going on and it does make you a lot more stronger as a person. You're going to suffer for the like first few weeks, but you just get over it. You have your shitty days, but you just get over it. So, yeah, I'm actually really, really, really happy about my results. So £17 I've lost all in total. So I've got another eight weeks. Uh, I think, yeah, around about, yeah, seven to eight weeks until... I go away on my birthday, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping, apparently I might lose up to two and a half, two to two and a half stone, so then that would mean I wouldn't, might have even lost up to three to four stone, which is absolutely crazy, so I'm really looking forward to that. The only annoying thing is I can't go shopping for my birthday holiday because apparently I don't know what size I'm going to end up and I'm going to keep wasting money and it makes me sad because I hate not buying clothes when I really need to. So it does... <laughs> that's the only thing that's annoying me about this thing. So I keep buying things two sizes smaller than me and uh, I'm now in a 14, 16. So I'm like, yes! So I'm like, so happy. I'm like, yeah dancing mm. yeah but i am actually really happy about it but i'm gonna have a very you know if i'm having a shitty day all i ever think is i've got a week off on my birthday so i've got four days worth of center parks with like 40 of us people and then um the day after the, uh the day after those four days is my actual birthday so, and also my mum's birthday, because I was born on her birthday, so it's her 50th too. So we're staying in Brighton, 
and early that morning I'm going home unfortunately but that's okay because they're going to the Isle of Wight anyway and uh, my parents are anyway so so as soon as I get home I've got to get my hair done I've got to get my makeup done and everything and um, go to a good friend of mine's birthday say happy birthday and everything you know and then um, go to another bar where I've booked a table for my birthday with another load of more friends that you know, <laughs> so I'm going to be absolutely exhausted. So, you know, I'm going to have so much fun. But then on that Monday, I've booked Jackie for me, like, for me to be weighed again. And she's going to be coming every week. So I've got no choice but to stay on it. So I'll just lose that poundage that I gained during that week. So, you know, that's okay. 12 weeks in total it'll be until, you know, so it... I am really excited about my birthday because the last few birthdays have really sucked. So I'm really trying to have my birthday to be with a load of family and friends this time. So, yeah, it's going to be really cool. And I am going to end this video. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. And if you want to see more updates and everything, uh, please like and subscribe me. You can even add me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, because I'm updating everything all the time. Since I'm an Instagram and a Facebook addict, it's a little bit scary. But, yeah, who who isn't these days, eh? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm really excited for the more weeks to come. And I'm really excited and I'm really happy. So, yeah, um, this is the beginning of my fourth week. And thank you guys for so much watching. And I'll be updating more since I feel more happier as a person and everything. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And please like and subscribe me. That would be really amazing. And sorry I look so mashed. Um, I've been in town all day. So I've literally got the dirty environment all over my face. I'm not going to lie. In London, it is disgusting. It is. Try and go in the London underground. And when you go out and blow your nose, that is so crazy. It's so gross. It's disgusting. It is so weird and gross at the same time. But yeah, I'm going to end this video. So thanks for watching, guys. Loads of love. And whoever is on the Cambridge, hope everybody has a really good week. And um, I hope they do stay, They hope they do come in contact with me and uh, share what they're going through. And hopefully I can share with them. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. So I'm looking forward to hearing from everybody. And loads of love. Bye.